Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of One Piece Weekly. This week we'll be talking about chapter 1004. Um, myself and Ponle will be discussing uh, Kibi Dango. So this is on the back of chapter 1003 where we saw towards the end where the worst generation versus Kaido and Big Mom. And then we see Kaido transform, transforming into his hybrid um, form. And now we'll move on to chapter 1004 where we go back to the lower levels um, and see all the different type of people fighting. Uh, we see the smile users fight against uh, the protagonist and and his um, and his army of people. Uh, at the start, we see Speed, one of the smile users, handing out um, some of the Kibi dangles that um, Tama made. So then she's be able to um, control the rest of the um, smile users or, or have them on the side or for them to become loyal to her. Um, this obviously is going to turn the tide um, of the battle because I, I, from the last chapter, we understand there was 27,000 um, people on Kaido's side versus 5,000 people versus the Samurais and, 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 and so on and so forth. Um, so with that revelation, um, what do you think is going to happen in regards to the, the, the battle that's taking place with um, the numbers um, seeming to even up a bit more? To be fair, this is what we called anyway. We, everyone knew this was going to happen. Yep. That um, Kaido, a lot of Kaido's men were going to be turned over. And now that's going to even up the numbers a bit more. So the, the, the war may end up turn, it will turn to the samurai side anyway, down in the lower floors. So it's going to be interesting to see what's going to happen now more so. Because they just get feeding more and more gifters with the, um, with her, uh, <laughs> what they call them again, actually, uh, Dango. Dango, yeah, Dango, Dango. Yeah. Keep, keep, keep Dango. Yeah. Um, keep, well, one thing about this, I really do hope that it's only um, it only works for the gifters. I, I don't want it to work for the executives or or the. Or the yeah, numbers. I agree. I think that'd be yeah. too easy. I, I, I think yeah, it should only work for them. Yeah, that, that that'd be really jarring, and it's absolutely jokes. I don't like it for the gifters, not for any anyone more higher up. Nah. It, it, exactly. Just it just makes things way too easy. Um, but I, I do like the fact that she managed to get at least one person when she, that, that person just handing out the um the keyboard dangles to to the rest of them anyways from from that so from there we get we get understanding that a lot of the gifters are starting to side with Tamar and Cole and then we move on to um Frankie versus uh, Sasaki um and it's it's about which I, I think we mentioned it before that it's just going to be bear heavy blows um similar to um to Frankie versus Senior Pink that we had in Dress Rosa, it's, it's, it's going to be a similar uh, battle with two powerhouses that's going uh, head to head to each other. So far, the battle is commenced and then it gets introduced, uh, not introduced, sorry, it gets interrupted by Tamam, um, Usopp and, and Nami it's looking like they're screaming for help, but Usopp and, and Nami being the deceivers that they are, they're just pretending. Mm -hmm. And behind them, they have um, several dozens, by the looks of things, several dozens um, gifters uh, backing them up and ready to attack the people that were holding Frankie down. Um, so Frankie can go off and, f and fight um, Sasaki. How do you think the battle was going to end between uh, Sasaki and, and Frankie? I think Frankie's going to win, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me, look, this is what usually happens in most of these yeah. arms. Can even the straw hats face off against, you know, maybe it's it like, for example, this is the flying six, isn't it? Um, the flying six. Um, Usually, you know, you have a, one of the short hats face like one of the these leading members of a pirate crew that he usually wins. So I see Frankie's. I, I see Frankie win anyway. He may go down. He may get his robot may get battered and bruised, but win mm. in the end. Towards the end of that um, sequence between Fra Frankie and Sasaki, mm. we see Frankie use Victory V Flash, which I don't necessarily think he is is to show us that he's won the fight, but it seems like a very strong attack. It, it, it cuts uh, Sasuke and he seems pretty hurt yeah. by it. But anyways, now we move on to um, the um, the number three <laughs> of the Straw Hats um, laying on the floor. Uh, even though he fought some of the some of Kaido's men, literally just the men. He can't fight uh, women. Yeah. Can't fight women. So he's there battered and bruised um, on the floor. Um, and them not trying to say that he should bring Robin to them so they can uh, pretty much um, get a hold of him, kidnap her and whatnot. Um, and then we get a character with a, um, I'm, I'm not sure what that is, but a character with something on her face. So we can't, I can't see who that is, but it does resemble Robin quite a lot. Um, it does resemble Robin quite a lot, the character. And then we have a statement for Sanji, literally right in the next panel saying, you shouldn't underestimate Nico Robin. 
Um, yeah. So my assumption is, from the looks of things, that that is Nico Robin right there with them. Um, but obviously, them not can't tell this. Um, and then we're probably going to end up getting a Nico Robin fight that we haven't had in a very long time, I don't very feel like. Very long time, yeah. I can't, I can't remember the last time... Right, I can't remember the last time I see I see Nico Robin fight. Um, but if Nico Robin does end up um, fighting Black Maria, how do you think he's gonna um, end up? It would be interesting because I, I don't. Yeah, we, have we really seen a fight since the time skip like properly? I don't think we have, as you said, since the yeah. time skip. So maybe she pull some new moves that we've not seen before out of the woodwork, and then she. I think. She maybe she would be. I feel that she'll beat uh, Black Maria anyway, but I just want to see what she. I think she'll pull out some new moves or ability. Well, I say with her Devil Fruit powers, maybe some of the stuff she's learned during the time skip. You know, because she was with the Revolutionary Army. Yeah, it's, it's actually, it's actually. So I, I kind of see she may have trained a bit as well. So, maybe, yeah, I think she may. Um, it'll be interesting to see anyway how that fight we- plays out. We definitely seen like her do new moves since the time skip after coming back with the revolution, revolutionary army, but we haven't seen much of it, especially not on a one on one, if I'm mistaken. But yeah, it'll be really, really interesting to see her, and I'm really looking forward to that. I think I've come to the realization that Ro- uh, Nico Robin might be my favorite straw hat. Um, okay. I, used to, I used to think it was Zora, but I think it might be Nico Robin, you know. Yeah, so after all of that, we eventually get to. Um, we, we get to the scene where someone notices where the nine scabbards were finally left. The nine red scabbards were left behind um, and they were about to go over there um, to attack them. Mm-hmm. And King, um, obviously King makes the order to go uh, um, eliminate them. But then somebody mentions that they see ten, ten, 10 scabbards rather than nine or 10 people rather than nine. Um, but it's too dark that they're not able to see who the person is. So in the very, very last chapter, we get a, um, a silhouette of a person um, there, which looks like tears. Uh, it might be sweat or, or, or it just might not be either, but it looks like a tear is fall- falling from um, this uh, particular person uh, right next to the scabbards. Um, I'm not necessarily sure what it means. Um, I've made a video about this that I'm going to link it to the end of this video, which talks about the possibility or who this character could be. Um, but what are your thoughts upon it? What do you think this um, could mean for for uh, one or going forward? <laughs> Boy, I'm, I, me, I don't really have theories or anything. So I just, <laughs> I've been enjoying as well as I'm just riding the, the wave of one, the one arc. So yeah. um, that's really been it, man. Um, I don't know what, how this is all going to lead. I'm still thinking we've seen, we've reading more um into it i really don't know what to call right now if what what's the next what's next gonna happen with the ch- um the next few chapters and unfortunately we have a break next week which has me gutted because i've been really enjoying this run um but uh <laughs> i don't know what to call really right now <laughs> honestly yeah it's the first time in a while that we're gonna get a um a break which is a yeah. shame I think about, we must have like three four four chapters four chapters. Four... i'm sure it's been four since the thousandth chapter i don't think we had has there been a break? I think we had a yeah, we had a break from one thousand to one thousand one. So one thousand one, okay, one thousand two, three and four. Three and so f- one, two, yeah, three four, and four, yeah, four. no break. So we had four, four, four straight chapters of fire, and and now we get a break, and it's so jarring because the break comes right before we get to see um, Kaido's hybrid form, and then also um, seeing. Who yes, it's true. I'm gonna see this hybrid form, man. I thought I'll get to see it this chapter, but then I should have known that they'll go, they'll go know. to another um, area in. in Onigishima. Imagine we see the reveal who this person is and the reveal of, yeah. um, of Kaido's hybrid all in the same chapter. That will go That'd down as one of the best. I, I'm just trying, I'm trying to work out who that person could possibly be. Because I don't some know. People, some, I people really don't know. Enoru, some people think it's Enoru. Some people think it's Enoru. I don't some think people... it'll be Enil. I don't think it'll be Enil. I'll be rattled if it is, but I don't think it'll be Enil. Um, some people that would be so baffling. Um, Toki... Um, Iori, okay. um might be Robin. Someone mentioned um, um, Kenju might, might have done something. Um, mm-hmm. Like he might he might have drawn somebody, or this might just be what he actually looks like when he when he takes off all that all that powder and and, and whatnot. Um, so there's there's plenty of spe- uh, speculation who it might be, but we don't have much to go by. Um, 
which which eventually will be it'll be it'll be interesting to find out and i bet he's going to be one of those moments where like duh of course it's that person uh, and that's going to be so jarring when we find out hybrid hybrid form as well which you will get oh boy this is this one that one of our fantastic yeah absolutely great all right then um we'll, we'll cut this one short again like i said um i do um go into a bit more detail in regards to who i think the um the person might be um the video will be linked to towards this end um thank you very much again for coming to watch please do subscribe thank please you. do like um please go jump into our discord or follow us on twitter uh and whatever uh, all the details are will be in the description um thank you for watching